guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about ansible inventory modules tasks and we'll go into ansible configuration file see some of the configuration basic configurations and we'll talk very briefly about playbooks so ansible basically depends on ssh protocol uh, for its working so in order to use ansible you must have your uh, ssh connectivity between your control node and the nodes which you are going to manage right and ansible actually maintains a list of all the managed nodes and that is what is called ansible inventory and it's uh, basically sometime also called the host uh, host file and it's found in the etsy directory for ansible so if we go into cd into etc ansible and do an ls over here so you can see there's a host file so let's just do a vi into this and it actually has a good uh, commenting and you can see for ungroup host then you can also give your hosts a name you can do pattern matching as well so things like that right so this is the default uh, inventory file what's called and I mean it's not necessary for you to use this uh, default inventory file you can create your own inventory file and you can call it while calling ansible playbooks or ad hoc commands right but for this video we'll just stick to default file because this is pretty much what we need for uh, this video right talking about modules so in the last video I showed you a couple of modules if you remember uh, the ping module and the file module so we created a file and we pinged our local system right so these are basically a, a set of pre-written code which has already been uh, written by developers for ansible and they're provided to us uh, for i mean just use so in any programming language you must know that if you package a set of uh, code which has common functionality that is that thing is called modules right so in the same way in the ansible we have some set of common codes like creating a file pinging and i mean there are a lot of modules so i'll put a link in the description for all the modules which are available in ansible so you can just go through it right all right so moving on to the task so task is basically any action which we take using ansible so if you remember we did something like ansible uh, localhost then we used a module called ping right so this is basically what I've done is I've performed a task using a module so yeah so task as uh, you can think of as the smallest unit of action in Ansible uh, these tasks are useful if you want to do something very small I mean like creating a file or pinging your system right but what if when it comes to configuring a complete system from end to end like if you're configuring an application then these tasks are not very useful and that is where the playbook comes in so playbook very briefly is actually collection of tasks that's that's the basic definition of playbook right okay so yeah so we've looked into the host file inventory file we've looked up we've talked about modules and we've talked about tasks so now what i'm going to do so in you see that while running any ad hoc command i'm giving it a name i mean i'm telling him that it needs to run it on the local host but now let's use the inventory file for uh, this operation and so we'll not pass this local host uh, information and ansible will detect this information from our inventory file so let's just go into etc ansible host file let's just come down to ungrouped hosts and what I'm going to add is basically my local host address 127.0.0.1 but adding this is not enough you need to tell the type of connection to Ansible that this is local connection and not over SSH so for that I'm going to basically pass a, a parameter you can say so ansible 
underscore connection and that will be equal to local so that will tell ansible that this is a local connection so let's just save it save and quit now what i'm going to run is the same task which i was running to ping my system and sybil and i'm going to say all so all when you do is basically you're telling that all the hosts in the inventory file this task should be run on all the hosts so in the next video and the coming video when we'll actually create some remote host and run our task on remote host you'll understand this better so ansible all and we'll do the same thing hyphen m ping and you can see that this time we didn't tell it to run it locally we just said that run on all the hosts which are there in our inventory file and run this ping and it has run successfully so yeah this is about uh, uh, running ansible tasks and and it and basically ansible inventory now the next thing which i wanted to show you is the configuration file so the configuration file is actually located in the same directory location which is etc ansible and this file is called so let's just go inside it it's called ansible.cfg and this actually has a lot of information and some of them are defaults which are already set so if you want you can change those so you can see that it says some basic defaults you can just go through them what all it's referring to uh, may, the main things which I used to change is uh, let me just go down and find it this host key checking so I would recommend you to make this as false because every time you SSH uh, into remote host I mean suppose you have hundreds and thousands of servers you wouldn't want to type yes every time right so I would recommend you to disable the host key checking every time so apart from that you can see there's SSH timeout that how my how after how many seconds this uh, connection should time out and there are many many things I mean many settings which you can I mean if you read you can set it like you see SSH timeout is there right remote user what remote user you want to I mean set as default mostly it's root since I'm using vagrant I set it as vagrant and you can see the log file and every I mean there's a lot of things you can just you just go through this file and comment in the video if you don't understand anything so this is basically what you use uh, to configure your ansible and mind you since ansible there's no daemon running there's no service running so any change you make in the configuration file takes effect immediately so this is basically what you have to keep in your mind before making any change to your ansible configuration so this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video i hope uh, you in you are enjoying my videos please do subscribe to the channel before going so that i can bring you more content like this and do comment in the video if you are if you have any questions anything specific you want me to cover or if you even don't like my video just tell me okay so yeah thank you for watching